Hey everyone, Eric here. What I have in front of me is a broken solar panel. The glass on it is shattered just like the glass might be shattered on your cell phone screen if you dropped it face down on the concrete. Um, this is uh, a brand new solar panel and uh, I'm using it for a outdoor camera, uh, remote camera with motion sensor on it so I can use a security camera. Um, I got excited and uh, just propped the thing up for testing before I had finished building the stand and a gust of wind came along, knocked the thing over, I had had it for all of four days and uh, hit, a, hit a couple of rocks and just completely shattered. Now, uh, aside from the broken glass, it still works. I can still connect it up. It's got good current, made a good amperage. It's all great. Um, problem is, I can't leave it outside like this. Otherwise, water will start seeping through all these little cracks and it'll start to corrode and degrade. And uh, before you know it, I'll have a no good solar panel. So after some contemplation and uh, much cursing, uh, I managed to find myself a product. Uh, it's called uh, QSIL 216. Um, it's a silicon encapsulant, and it's designed for specifically for electronics and solar panels. Um, it's uh, highly viscous, kind of works its way down, and is designed to get all around uh, bits of electronics and, uh, and provide a flexible, watertight seal um, that's designed to last for a long time as well. Um, and in fact, it's, it's used, one of the applications for it is specifically for uh, like DIY solar panels. Um, if you're making your own with, with just the panels rather than um, buying a whole uh, um, package product like this. Um, now, details about that product uh, and about my process and everything that I'm doing here, uh, you can find a link uh, to our site down below somewhere in the description. Um, and uh, other than that, uh, this is just an opportunity for you to hang out and uh, see if this works and uh, you know, just, just get a view. So hopefully this is uh, something that you find helpful uh, if you're trying to repair a broken solar panel of your own. Now it's 10 to one ratio by weight. Um, and in theory, these bottles are already measured out, uh, but I don't want to take any chances. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my kitchen scale here and uh, just weigh it out just to be sure. Well, it's not quite as viscous as I thought it would be. Based on the description, I thought it would be quick moving, but I would say it's almost uh, mixing it, the description, like the thickness of a, a warm honey. Now, I'm seeing quite a few bubbles in it. Um, and uh, from the product manufacturer's description, they actually suggest if it's uh, mechanically mixed that um, you use a vacuum and allow the bubbles to come out before you use it. Uh, although uh, most of what I've read online from others who have tried it have said that uh, hand mixing it and uh, because it's fairly vis viscous, the bubbles come right out on their own. Um, and uh, you know, um, even if I get a bubble or two in there, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna refract and, and cause a little bit of the light to deflect, but no worse so than the uh, broken glass. So I'm just gonna go with it, like it is. All right, so I'm all done working it. Uh, the consistency, just like I said earlier, is probably about that of a, uh, like a thick honey. Um, it uh, was fairly easy to work with. I just, uh, as you saw, just used a, a piece of wood effectively to just sort of move it around and brush it into place. Um, it uh, is starting to get a little bit tacky. Um, I've been working it for probably about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I am noticing it's got a little bit of a semi-self-leveling kind of characteristic to it.
Well, it's the morning. It's been about 10 and a half hours and it's still not cured. Uh, I'm still getting really tacky if I try and touch it on the edges. So I'm gonna let it sit longer. Um, the temperature in here has dropped a bit overnight. It's just under 65 degrees. Um, and the manufacturer's recommendations uh, suggest dropping it below 65 degrees if you want extra time working with it. Although it's only just under 65 degrees, which means most of the night it would have been above 65. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is set up a couple of heaters in here. I'll uh, let it run, I'll let it sit, um, and uh, come back this uh, afternoon or evening and take a look at it then. Okay, so quick update. It's now been 24 hours. It's still not done curing. Uh, it's tacky, um, and I don't actually touch it on here. I've got some extra stuff just left over, and it's, it's getting kind of gooey and solid, but still not ready to pull down. Um, I also had the heaters running in here all day. Um, so it's about uh, 75 degrees in here. Uh, I've kept it at a consistent mid to upper 70s all day long. Um, still not cured after 24 hours. Uh, I'm going to give it overnight and uh, hopefully it'll be done by the morning. Hey everyone, it's Eric. Good news, it's finally cured. It uh, took a day and a half, I had to keep the heat up here. Um, if you look at the article, I'm going to post some details about how warm I've had the temperature in here so you can get a sense for just how long it took um, and the temperature and the humidity conditions in here. Um, it looks fantastic. I don't know how well it's coming across in the video, but it's really hidden a lot of the cracks and everything. I'm, I'm really pleased. I did have it out in the sun uh, a little earlier this afternoon. I was just testing it. Um, it is producing power. Um, I don't have another panel of the exact same make and model to compare, so I don't know precisely how well it's doing, um, but just general first sense is that it's, it's working just as I would expect it to. I also want to show you something cool. I have this stick that I had in the back of that cup to give you a sense for just how flexible this stuff is. It's incredibly flexible, um, and uh, I'm hoping that that's gonna help it really kinda do well and, and uh, uh, be in great condition. So, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, visit the site, again, more details in the link down below, um, and uh, hope to have you join me next time as we learn to live free each and every day.